Prøv sådan. Hey Victor, how's it going? All good on you. Doing all right, doing all right. All right, welcome everybody to July 20th, not July 13th, as I had so rudely posted the agenda for last week. Um, so I fixed that this morning. Uh, welcome to July 20th Technical Oversight Committee call for Hyperledger. As everyone on this call who's been here before, you're all aware uh, two things that we have to abide by. The first is the antitrust policy. Uh, and the second is our code of conduct, which is linked in the agenda. For announcements, we have our standard Dev Weekly developer newsletter that goes out each Friday. If you have something that you would like to include in that newsletter, please do leave a link or comment. Uh, I'm sorry, leave a comment at the link uh, that's in the agenda. Um, and then any other announcements that anybody would like to make? All right, I'll take that as a no. Uh, so for quarterly reports, uh, we did get the cacti one that came in last week. The fabric one came in this morning or last night. Um, I know a lot of you have had a chance to look at both of those. I didn't see any specific comments on either of those. For the sawtooth one, uh, Sean did address the questions and the comments that people had put in there from before. Uh, so if you did have a comment, uh, please do re-review that uh, report so that we can see about getting it merged. Uh, Sean did also tell me that he and Andy would work on uh, putting together the upcoming report that's due next week. So uh, we should see something uh, coming in there. Any questions on the, the quarterly reports? Uh, on the sawtooth one, I did see a lot of comments um in the report but i didn't see any updates to the actual report so i was wondering if we should ask them to update the actual report in addition to re resolving some of the comments yeah we could definitely do that i noticed the same thing Dave. any other comments questions Okay, uh, so for discussion then today, um, we do have the best practices for automated pipelines task force, but I did wanna see if there was anything else that anybody would like to uh, bring up as a discussion item today before we get to the task force discussion. Peter? You're on mute, Peter. Sorry, yes, one more discussion item for me is uh, I, I couldn't add it to the agenda in time, but uh, I wanted to bring up graduating or applicate, applying for graduation uh, for Cacti. It's, okay. uh, I know it's a process, but I just wanted to announce it that we'd like to do it. We'll finally do it and uh, hopefully the TOC can provide some feedback. So this is my uh, call to feedback. Uh, I know that we haven't uh, filled out the document. I think there's a document to fill out. So I, I will do all of those uh, administrative uh, details so that everyone can have the full picture. But for now, I just wanted to say that uh, uh, for awareness sake that it's happening. And if, if you have 
any sort of comments already just based on what you already know then i'm happy to hear those all right so appreciate to, to make sure that there's no potential concerns that need to be addressed before uh, moving uh, or applying for graduation for cacti any any concerns that anybody has or any thoughts that uh, would um, that the cacti group should uh, address before they do apply I think it's great. I mean, this is one of the projects that has great diversity. And so I think that's a good move. All right. Completely agree, Arno. Any other thoughts, concerns? Stephen gave a thumbs up in the uh in Zoom, so I think that's a, a good sign. So Peter, it looks like, uh, at least based on the somewhat silence, it sounds in uh, the somewhat agreement that it sounds like everybody thinks this is a good idea. Yeah, thank you. And then I shall work on uh, the rest of the process and bring more details next week. Okay, sounds great. We'll look forward to, I think there's a, I don't know, a pull request, I think is where we're at at this point. Um, I can't recall what our uh, exact process is anymore, but uh, yeah, it's it's documented. So we'll, we'll look to see that uh, showing up here shortly. All right, any other discussion items that anybody would like to bring up before we get to the task force? All right, I will take that as a no. So Peter, uh, back to you um, to talk about the best practices for automated pipelines. Okay, I tried to book a meeting, but I still haven't been able to, sorry about that. I do have updates though, because I've been working on optimizing the Cacti CI this whole time, not exclusively, but a lot of time has been spent on that. And uh, one thing that I did come up with was for in terms of linting existing uh, CI jobs for every project is build dependency caching that we could very easily add to a lot of projects and they would probably benefit from it. Maybe not as much as uh, cacti, but definitely a lot. And uh, the bigger your CI pipeline, the more you actually benefit from it. That's what I learned because for us, the build and the test execution are broken up into separate jobs so that there's more uh, parallelism in it that can be done after the build has finished. And so the the core sort of baseline CI job that runs the tests is consisting of around 40 to 45 actual job definitions. And there's one before those that does the build and then that populates the build cache. And if we use that build cache for the other 40 ish test jobs, then it gets around five minutes faster which is uh, adding up to 200 minutes. Yeah, sorry, it's early morning math. So that's around three hours worth of CI time saved uh, just by adding caching. And I know that uh, we've been one of the offenders who use a lot of the CI time as shown by GitHub's reports. And so that was uh, that was one thing that I did work on. And then the other one was to document 
but the document is also just in a draft yet, but there's definitely a big part of it there about build caching and also regarding trying to keep uh, the scripts cross platform even if uh, even if you only run the CI on let's say Linux, you should still try to have the scripts that are in the CI be able to run cross platform because you will have developers on Windows and Mac as well, not just Linux. And it helps a lot for them if they can also debug the CI locally. This is always achieving this sort of uh, cross compatibility is always just an elusive dream because there's always something that not quite work the same. But at the same time, I definitely want to put it down in the best practice document that you should uh, strive to have it uh, completely platform independent just so that at least parts of it actually are. And then the other plan that I have the had is to evaluate the possibility of uh, an open source alternative for BuildJet that we could self-host. So I was looking into that and came up short. So the only way we could do that if we created it ourselves, which is definitely out of scope, at least for me, because that would be a big, big moonshot. Uh, so the, the whole open source self-hosted build jet, uh, Fred, I, I paused that for now. And what else? Oh, yes. And uh, what I plan to do is to actually book a meeting next week. I have a list of the people who were talking about certain things I have the notes and so I will send out invites and specifically we should have an output of that meeting as a list of tasks of who would like to volunteer for what and so far I have Stephen and Marcus and Arun and and a few more comments from Dave and Rama Yes, yeah, so the people I just said will be on the initial invite list, apart from, of course, everyone else, because I will also advertise it in the group chats. But uh, I wanted to make sure that I, I named these people specifically because they were the ones who were engaging in conversation. And then finally, another little research topic that I've been working on related to the CI is being able to run it locally with this tool called ACT, which is uh, hit or miss in the sense that some of the jobs that we have in the Cacti CI, it can run perfectly, but then there's always, uh, sorry, there's always little things where the abstraction kind of breaks down. For example, in the Cacti CI, we check if the build itself ended up modifying any source code or not because uh, we don't want the build to change source code because then the whole thing is indeterminate and uh, if the build changes source code then that should be checked in to git and so the the script that we have that checks for this explicitly it's always, uh, or not always, but usually is broken because when you run the CI locally, you usually have changes that you're trying to test that you may not have committed. And it ends up detecting that, and then it, it, it fails with this false negative. Uh, yes, so that's that's everything I've done so far. And uh, sorry that I couldn't book the meeting until now it's been very busy uh but hope i'm really hoping that next week we can uh, have a discussion and then 
have uh, the tasks assigned and then by the next time we have we are up for discussion we will be able to provide a person by person account of who had done what and what was the outcome similar to what I'm providing now but uh, with everyone else who's also on the task force and of course now that I finished my little update if if anyone has done anything despite uh, me failing to book the meeting, then please feel free to also give updates. Uh, I can say that we have had very good success with the um, dedicated runners that Rye set up for us. I forget what they were called, um, but it was not build yet. It was something else, I believe. Um, so we might not need to invest that time in like a build jet similar thing. We might already have the solution there. Uh, that being said, I don't think we want to use that as a crutch and like just give it to everybody because it is, I think, a paid offering. Um, we still need to make sure people are doing their CI efficiently. Um, but I think there are other options that have worked pretty well. And it's, in, they, it's improved our CI time by a factor of 2x and it's taken the burden off the, the wider pool as well. Right, do you is right here? Are you here? No, I think right. Right. I'll I'll talk to the speaker next. Okay, all right, then I'll take notes and I've just taken it down that I should ask Rai about what that CI provider of runners is called. Peter, you mentioned you had a document draft started somewhere. Um, is do you have a link for that that people can review slash add to? No link, unfortunately. I mean, I could technically just copy paste it right now because I'm looking at it right now. It's a uh, it's a uh, copy paste the chat logs and uh, a long bullet point list of my own notes. So I could literally just post it right now because I'm looking at it. It's just in my private note taking up uh, that's on the computer. Okay. But uh, let me do that. And then, and then does, time... yeah, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, Peter. Uh, I was just gonna say if, if anybody else has any ideas about uh, improving CI, uh, this would be a good time to discuss those as well. Agreed. I I will take any ideas on how to improve performance. Yeah, Dave. I th we probably all know it, but we did address some things in the best practices document. So we'll make sure to refer back to that and take those points forward as well. Points. We back to the best practices. Marcus. Um, so I was just thinking about um, what you guys did in the documentation task was to, I mean, create some kind of survey. Uh, so we can reach out to the project maintainers to collect, I mean, uh, their thoughts about um, this automation thing. And I mean, just uh, also collect a couple of pain points people actually experience um, so that we basically learn a little bit more, okay, what are the people, how the people are doing this at the moment, um, what can go wrong, and uh, that we then basically uh, have a nice collection. And when we basically suggest, hey, look, uh, this is a way to improve that. I mean, some of the things um, Peter already mentioned that, I don't know, when you make an update to documentation, the, the build pipeline should basically realize that and does not need to run all the integration tests, for instance. I don't know. Um, and um, yeah, if we can do something like that, I mean, maybe we can just discuss this in more detail next week in this uh, session. That's just something which came to my mind. Yes, I agree. Uh, I have notes about what you just said as well. 
and a document as such is definitely part of the tasks or the list of generated outputs that the task force should have. Great. So it's on the list and just need to get the document started. And uh, I will we'll make sure to invite you specifically for the meetings as well so that you can contribute. All right. Thanks, Tracy. Um, I'm not sure if this makes sense, but one of the thing uh, that one of the project that I previously worked upon where we tried to optimize was in terms of time a particular CI pipeline would take. And in that aspect, what we ended up doing is uh, because the integration test that we used to run used to be um, it had other external dependencies and that whole process had to be queued um, one after the other. And um, it used to be a long time consuming activity. And what we ended up doing is unless there is an interface change, we targeted specific integration tests depending on the file that is present in the PR. And that saved a lot of time for us. So resource was never a constraint, at least in that experiment, which I ended up doing, but at least time was a concern and it helped us. Okay, I, I'm looking forward to you also writing some words about that in the document room, if you don't mind. But it's also okay if you just want to explain it and then uh, I'll take the notes. Um, sorry, just wanted to confirm because I saw a note on my Zoom screen. It said it lowered my voice. I was, I hope I was able to convey the message fully. You came through loud and clear. Perfect, thanks, yeah. Yeah, Rune, I took that note as targeted integration test based on files in the PR. Anything else that anybody would like to add is things that they've discovered or uh, best practices that we, Peter can add to the list. Um, I'll, I'll work on sort of brainstorming the things, all the things that we've done in the various um, projects I'm involved to, to see what we can come up with. There's been a pile of optimizations and improvements that have done along the way. Other things like where artifacts should be published, um, you know, GitHub actions, you know, should, should actions produce, uh, what kind of artifacts should be produced, how often should, um, tags be created and things like that options on those we've we've had a bunch of things like that I, I i can't name them or it wouldn't be useful for me to name them off the top but i'll try to get a list of them as well and see how that merges with what you produce peter okay thank you very much i'm almost i've almost published the page i'm trying to save the the conference page and it says unsupported character you can't <laughs> save because the smiley face character isn't supported by your database oh it was a chat message that i pasted in okay okay so i created the document and i'll put it in the discord chat in a second the place where you'd expect it to be there's this uh, task forces home sub page on the EOC wiki it is so I put the link on the chat so if if anyone has any comments later 
then please feel free to just comment on that page and uh, we'll get it together. All right, thanks, Peter. Uh, anything else uh, specifically on the task force that has come to mind? Well, I guess since we're here, I could just ask uh, the people who did speak up, what would be the best hours for you to, to have the meeting? I'm assuming it's probably going to be something like the TOC meeting itself, uh, just on a different day. Is that, does that sound optimal for everyone? If not, then feel free to just speak up and we can we can work through it. I've got a thumbs up from Marcus. Peter, you plan to do this weekly? Uh, maybe not weekly, maybe bi-weekly. Okay. I think any day other than Monday and Thursday, of course, uh, works on. Monday and Thursday. Okay, that's good to know. So availability wise. Marcus is good with the hour. Rama can do Monday and first day for this hour. Oh yeah, but Rama, I think he said cannot do. <laughs> yeah, so oh. Tuesday and Wednesday, cannot, cannot. I guess. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, wait, first day is today, and we have the TLC meeting on first day. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's uh, that's a wrap then for the task force discussion. Task force discussion. Unless someone else has anything else to add. Stephen, I did see you come off mute and go back on mute. Is there was there something you want to add? Uh, I confess. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at my schedule, and this hour is a favorite pretty much every day in the week. As in, you have availability or that you've already, you're already booked? Yeah, are already booked. 7 a.m. is a favorite time. Oh, I see. Yeah. A tough okay. one. We could potentially go earlier. Is there anyone else who could do 6.30 a.m.? Oh, it's okay. I'll send out an email and then everyone can submit their votes. Sounds good. Uh, anything else that anybody would like to cover today? All right, so uh, next week, as far as uh, task force discussions, we do have the badging project lifecycle. Rama, I think that's uh, your uh, leading that particular task force. Um, uh, Tracy, sorry, uh, next week I'm going to be at a conference and okay. the week, up, week after I'm on vacation. So, sorry, can you push this to the second week of August? Uh, sure, we could do that. Um, so then I think that uh, we'll have to see what's next on the agenda for a task force. Um, we, I know we were going to attempt to close out the security task force. Uh, that we had going in and start a new security task force. So we might look at something like that um, as the next particular item, or we'll just figure out what uh, what makes sense. If we need to, to cancel next week, we can always cancel. Um, I know this is obviously summertime and, and it's difficult with people's schedules. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll work that offline and figure out what the, the right steps are for next week. Thanks for letting me know that, Rama. All right. If there's no further discussion today, then we will close out today's meeting. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Everyone.